Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with more 13 Nights of Halloween. Still here with Nolar. Let's say hello. What's going on, guys? Hello. Uh, yeah, I've just, this has been fun, and I'm ready to continue on to see what the shenanigans will ha ensue. Yes, let us continue on with our shenanigans. If people know me for anything, it's shenanigans. Yeah, shenanigans through and through. <laughs> you could say I am a- Oh, oh God, go! <laughs> Go faster! You see this? I'm pressing. I'm holding the A button to see if he goes faster, but he's not. Go! Run! I, I cannot with you right now, dude. You need to get your ass up. <laughs> oh, thank God, cutscene. Oh, the thing is, you left the crazy chainsaw murderer there. What the hell are you gonna get next? I assume that guy's gonna eventually figure out how to work the elevator and find his way to me, but I assume even more crazy dudes in here. Spit. Ugh. Take out my cigarette. No. No. The one joy of life, it's gone. <laughs> he can't even smoke. Myself with oh, now here's a song. Bethesda well, we're just gonna keep... Oh yeah, talking, chatting this over this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You never know how they're gonna go. Goes. Tango Game yeah. Works Productions. Spooky I... room filled with things. Well, there's an Evil Within two, right? Mm -hmm. um, there is. So it seems like this was a successful franchise, and so that's uh, how. I would I would yeah, say it was a good, a successful enough to get the second one. They didn't go. I think there was some people who I think the second one ended up being extremely divisive for the fans of the first one. Oh, I see. Okay. So it ended up being this thing of like, uh, we just don't know who this is for. So I don't think they've made another one since then. But I always kind of like the idea of it, of something called at least the title of it is good. Evil Within, even if I don't know anything about the game itself. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. All right, we made it. All right. So. And also speaking of this generation, a lot of elevator stuff. That's how they would hide the uh, the, the loading, loading screens. In, yeah. In Mass Effect. Yeah. Oh, I spent so much time to the point where I, even when I played the the remaster for Mass Effect, I still kind of take my time inside there because they. Oh, now you're not limping anymore. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, what the hell just happened? I just need to take a quick seater. I guess something's happening to everything. That he's willing to just kind of get going. No, do not cross. Okay. Nope, that's not the way. That's not the way. That is not the way at all. Is this the way? Nope, that's, that's not the just way. running around. Excuse me, defiling your corpse. Alright. That's probably it. Official police business. Oh damn, it's sunny outside. I've actually. Whoa, what the hell happened? The apocalypse fucking. <laughs> Oh my god. How long was I asleep? Detective! Get in, get in! Sequel to get out, get in. The drive machine. What is going what the hell is going on? Yeah, I too don't. Oh, okay, of course. We got lag. lag. Yeah, lag switch yeah. is back. <laughs> Here to ruin another game of Splatoon for everyone. Hey, where's Joseph? The top FPS hey, FPS beat played out. by everyone, <laughs> even though it's a third-person shooter. Please, settle down, Leslie. I don't trust. Him. Whoa, what happened? Oh, okay, it was a rear view mirror. Okay, I was like, okay. whoa, what the hell was that? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like 480p uh, footage is coming up. <laughs> that would have been hilarious if all of a sudden the game turned 480p. The truly terrifying times are back. Though funny, I really did like it. There's a really good. I know you did. You said you didn't play MGS4, but there's a good scene in MGS4 where it briefly returns back to PlayStation One era graphics, and it actually legitimately <laughs> looks like it. But, you know, so the funny thing is, like, all right, just to give you guys a little background as we're going through this. So when I grew up, uh, I the N64 came out. I played the N64 for a while, but then I uh, sold that off to my buddy, and I never got into another console for a while. I was mostly PC gaming at that point. Mm -hmm. 
So, like, FF7, I never played it on the PlayStation, and it's all the FFs, right? I've never really played them, at least when they came out. Oh my god, what is going on? Yeah, there, there's some shit going on here. <laughs> the the yeah, tonic I... plates are moving. This is California in, like, another three years. <laughs> Yeah, seriously, dude. I, it's, it's what is gonna be happening? <laughs> yeah, we're waiting for the big one. Everyone, every single one of us is. Dude, I just paid for my uh, earthquake insurance. Yeah, yeah, they're charging me like the big one's coming next week, next year, dude. Oh man. <laughs> See, my plan is to just go into full Mad Max mode and yeah, <laughs> start the water that wars. That would be a good idea. Oh, I'm on. I'm on that <laughs> faction. Um, <laughs> my living situation says I have to go that side. So I'll see you on the other side. We will be once we're far away. Oh yeah, he's saying he's fine, so that'll be fine. But you were saying continue on. You sold it. Oh, oh shit, he's in. Wait, lag switchers there. Fine. fine. Oh no, 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 no. So the lag switchers in his head. Fine. That's what's happening now. You think so? Fall. 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 No. Winter. No. <laughs> Break. <laughs> Oh, our buddy is no longer okay. He was doing fine, and now he is doing what in the world? Listen, I have a lot on my plate right now. <laughs> I had a I had a rough morning, and I don't really feel like <laughs> this is not something I need to deal with, man. Never now. <laughs> no, the only thing missing here is like a meteor falling. <laughs> Chapter one clear. Save game. New slot. New slot. I guess, yeah, now save here. Yes, please. Sure. All right. All right. Continue the next chapter as you... And so, yeah, you sold, you sold off. You missed off on a lot of, like, the specific era of stuff. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. And then uh, then when I... Uh, the last time I started playing consoles again was, like, towards the PS3 era. Mm -hmm. But I didn't... I was busy with school and taking care of other stuff. So, like, I only... Barking sparingly did that, and then I got sucked into WoW and oh, MMOs. So, so that's just the game then. Yeah, it, it, MMOs became the game. You know, like I don't know if you were big on that. I know, um, what's his name? D Dylan is. Um, mm, Zahal. Oh no, see, yeah. Zahal. Yeah, Zahal. I, I won't say he's big into it, but he's he's dabbled. Like the thing is, him and Neo and are the big this, ones I know. Yeah, Neo was pretty big into it too, if I remember. I mean, I talked to him a few times about WoW. Um, I I ended up missing MMOs because I didn't have a good working PC. I kind of stayed with consoles, so I didn't. I missed out on a lot of like the RTS style style games and PC oh, only franchises. Okay. Uh, like, MOBAs I too, I assume. Uh, yeah, I missed MOBAs up until League came out. I wasn't like I wasn't there playing like original Dota. <laughs> and yeah, I mean that was me. I was playing original Dota. Uh, I play. I played uh, a good amount of Dota 2 as a support. I have a lot of mm, recommendations I've, for yeah. uh, doing a good job, and then I have a lot of memories of people arguing with themselves on my team as we were losing. <laughs> so it was a fantastic yeah. time. I the, Dota as a whole is a fun game, but the community and MOBAs in general, the communities are just so goddamn toxic. It's yeah. just like unbelievably toxic. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a different beast from what I expect. But yeah, that's kind of where my stop and stop starts with Hello? PC. So I missed out on a lot of Anybody MMOs. There? The thing is, like life service games, and the big, big example before you and I, and, and I probably a good chunk of your audience for Do for Dokkan resembles MMOs, right? Like the whole point is you log in, you're making progression, you're doing stuff every day. That's um, what I loved in stuff like Dokkan or like Gacha games because it's just right. ever evolving. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, nothing wrong with like, you, you know, single player soldier. games or like FPSs or stuff like that. But the uh, MMOs as a whole, like it's a living, breathing community that just continues to go. And I was very enthralled by that. And I still am. But um, yeah, I kind of like the idea that this place funny enough, I, for you. I don't know. I don't know. I was it's very hard for me as someone who grew up in a lot of like where JRPGs and stuff were like my favorite genre where it's like, oh, yeah, I go into a game and. There's like a battle pass ready for me. Oh wait, well, let me just Whoa. mess around. Oh shit, <laughs> I, I, I messed around so much. They were like, "Do you want to save the game, my guy? Do you want to play? <laughs> yeah, the are game? you okay? 
Are you okay right now? <laughs> you okay? No Alright, I signed. <laughs> they were just like, alright, we're done with your shit. We see what you're doing. Um, but yeah, for a lot of like Battle Pass stuff ends up making me feel weird, because then it feels yeah. like... You know, I'm being told to it be a benefit for me to keep going, but I want to have that feeling Smells where like I'm playing on your just own. Be, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I want to decide that I want to keep playing this. That's why I have over like I think combined in the lifespan of both games a thousand hours in Persona 3 and a thousand hours in Persona 4, <laughs> even though those are games you're not supposed to. <laughs> you're supposed to be right, done with, right. but I continuously kept playing and finding new ways to kind of play by myself and stuff like that. So, it comes from a different well, mindset, but a lot of that is just because I didn't play MMOs. So, for my idea, right. that's what games are to me. What the hell? This was a good idea, by the way. Me sitting down on this chair, there was obviously nothing bad was ever going to happen to me. Yeah, ever, ever going to happen. No. Oh, Stop. upgrade skills? Ooh, I can upgrade my brain. Dude, Deal! I wish I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Put the green jelly in my brain, please. That's actually the future that Facebook wants. <laughs> You're sitting on your chair, <laughs> getting ready. New have no legs. Oh my god, dude. They, that, that whole metaverse thing just blows my mind. The concept of it and how hard they're going with it. Mark Zuckerberg would like you to be <laughs> waiting for you. That's who I, That's the, actual, the actuality here is that the mental hospital actually was owned by Mark Zuckerberg. And this is the result of him trying to get people to play Verizon. <laughs> But yeah, that's a mess. Dude. That's a, see, that's the thing. That's where I think the game design, which is frustrating, because they have Carmack, and Carmack is yep. Doom, yep. and Shit. I think he's fru he's what probably frustrated too. On? Where he's like, "You're not building this correctly. You're supposed to like make it good first, and then people will come. Not right, do right. this Instead thing of where it's forcing like, them, yeah. yeah, to come first. Yeah, it, like I, I was reading in an article where like the employees who were working on the metaverse, like they didn't get their own VR headset, but Mark Zuckerberg was hosting the meetings in in the metaverse, so people they had to physically go buy the, the, the damn wow. VR headset so they could go to meeting the boss. That's crazy. Who who ended up doing the Social Network? Do you remember who uh, directed that movie? Oh, uh, um, was it oh, I know who wrote it. Uh, f no, no right? did not write it. Um, let me look it up real quick. I, yeah. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. I think that guy needs to come back and make the second one <laughs> based off of yeah. all the reports I've heard from <laughs> yeah, Metaverse. You're right. it, was it was David Fincher. It was Aaron Sorkin that wrote the screenplay. He's hey. a really good um, writer. Um, yes, he is. He yes. did West Wing and all those other shoot shows, and I know he's done... Now he's a director, which is great. Yeah, he is. I think he also did Behind the Caballero from back in the day. The... Let me the, look um, that up. Oh, well, I, I'm obviously going into a really dark place here. Uh, let me follow the light. That's likely where they want me to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Probably. The, the setting and atmosphere, it really hits home on the horror horror front, right? Like, I yeah, totally... I think so. It, there's definitely, yeah, they got the spooky vibes going for it. Appreciate of it. There is something to say about a game where it is technically made by Bethesda. I obviously had a big budget, and I have not picked up a gun of any kind so far. <laughs> and in this era, that's almost unheard of. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I can kind of see why probably a lot of people did not like it for that reason, and why a lot of people would be passionate about it. Ooh, it is. Mind. It would definitely tick box, tick off boxes for some people, right? Mm. Like a cult. Like classic, this is a straight sure. up, sur yeah, like a survival game, right? You're not fighting. You're just. That's what I'm. Uh, from what I'm understanding, I'm just surviving. Oh no! Wait, there's the gun. Oh, there yeah. it is. It's, it's okay. Not. Like 30 minutes into the game, now you yeah, get the first not. gun. This is someone I knew. It was the driver, wasn't it? Oh, that might be, uh... Oh! He's got a headache. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bang! Oh, come on! One headshot should be enough. Oh, and he ragdolls away. <laughs> <laughs> the physics in this game. Yeah, back then everyone was ragdoll, to be fair, but it still doesn't make it any less funnier when you see ragdoll. Yeah, exactly. 
pick so up that's juice. upgrade. The green, the green juice is to upgrade your skills. All right, mm. all right. That's more I'm gonna use to upgrade myself. But for now, I got three shots in my gun. This is also a very like weird walk that he's doing right now. <laughs> yeah, I bet you he's still. Uh... Oh, maybe he is a little bit. You're right. Uh, there limping. It is. Yeah, a little bit of limping. But he's doing like it's clear that he is walking. But he's trying to look like he's going fast at the same time. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. This is the speed of someone telling me, "All right, we need to go somewhere," and me going very like, "Oh yeah, I'm I'm going right now," and I'm actually just going the same speed I was previously, but I'm making it look like I have <laughs> an effort being put to it. Maybe I should take that as from me, someone who has maybe done that a lot in his life. <laughs> Oh, I'll put more effort into it. Yep, that's right. Mm, maybe not. No, nope, nope, I'm nope, going. Nope. Top speed for sure. That's an appropriate situation of someone who you're just not sure what's going on with them. All right. Disarm, Disarm the trap. trap. I can do that, no problem. Well, how much you want to bet on that? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Dude, I'm like, you're getting closer. You're getting closer. <laughs> I was. It was not prompting up. Okay, you know what? Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> I'm going to yep. blame that on the game. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> I was doing... I was going, man. Oh, that... There you go. Consume spam. Is that now? Sprint. LB is sprint. Sure. I'm so used to it. I guess the, the button that would be for clicking down is for getting my um, flashlight out. Oh, yeah. A murder. Using matches, approach a fallen enemy and press B to burn them. Destroying them completely, burning consumes one match. If the same enemies are close enough, they all get burned in one match. Other thing, other things besides corpses and enemies can also be burned. Okay, sure. So, but why do you burn. want them to burn? I assume so they don't come back. You know, like that a zombie be... situation. Huh. Now, is this like Far Cry? No, it's not. <laughs> I was hoping for it to go everywhere. Far Cry, that's the best thing about the Far Cry in general, is that when it started in Far Cry 2, I think, they have the yeah. greatest fire-burning tech in any game ever, <laughs> and it's stuck in Far Cry. <laughs> it's so satisfying burning fields in Far Cry 3. <laughs> right, I had a buddy, um, he's got a four-year-old daughter? Mm-hmm. She's addicted to Far Cry 4. Really? Um, so, like, she'll say, Dad, Dad, is it time for, uh, you know, it's 5 o'clock, and that's when he gets off. He works from home, right? So he's. Mm -hmm. So I went to go visit him for a weekend, and the kid was like, Dad, can it's time to turn off the, the computer, right? And she's like, you know, she's a smart kid. She learned, like, 5 o'clock is end time for work, which, okay, generally speaking, yes. And then she would be like, Daddy, it's time to play. And then he would just give her the controller. And she, the thing, like, I was not in a sober state of mind here. And the uh -huh. things I saw her do with that, con like, in that game blew my goddamn mind. I'm, I'm tell like, you, holy you, crap. You, yeah, like, the hoverboard and then whatever, all this stuff. I was like, I, dude, I, I feel so old now. I feel that's so why, old. Yeah, that's why all esports dudes retire at 18 because they're too old. They can't keep up yeah. with the crazy str strength of the young <laughs> youngins anymore. Youngins, the reaction time. No, they, they, it all dulls down. At the at the, its base form, even if it's rated M, whatever it's rating, if you give a child a video game, they will figure out how to play it. Yes, yes. Nurse. Nurse bed. Journal of Sebastian Castellanonis. Finally got my gold badge, Detective Sebastian Castellanonis. I like the sound of that. Seems a long time coming, but they see, but they say that I'm one of the fastest ever to rise through the ranks. Can't wait to get started. I know that I can do more good as a detective than I ever could as a beat cop. Plus, I don't have to wear that damned uniform anymore. The pay bump doesn't hurt either. KCPD needs all the help they can get. There's seemingly disappropriate amounts of crime these days. Crimson City is my home and my job is to protect it. Good, uh, good luck with that, buddy. I'm yeah. sure uh, you're in a horror movie, so I assume that you are already gone. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say you don't even see yourself in the reflection there. Oh, it's sure. clear little alone. This is also in Bioshock <laughs> Infinite. That's why I remember it. Up, 
Yeah, when you enter Rapture for the first time, this oh. plays. Oh, yeah. What the oh. Back here again. Oh, man. Oh, no. Losing it. How does the same shit happen to the same guy twice? <laughs> <laughs> well, this time you've got your gun. Oh, yeah, this time they don't stand a damn chance. Are you kidding me? If I see that nurse pop pop, that's what's happening. I assume this is a way for me to be able to upgrade my stuff and then also leave through the mirror, but I don't know. Yeah, I think this is oh. a save point. I can save here, no problem. Where is the matter? Keep talking. <laughs> You done? She doesn't want to talk to me so. with my gun. At. Okay. You just gonna ignore me? I already signed it. Oh, let me just make sure if I have to sign it again. I think. I think, I think she's this is just uninterested. Complete. Yeah, I think you're moving on to. Oh, that's the mirror out. I bet. And here's to level up my brain juice. Hook right up to the Zuckerberg machine. <laughs> Syringe recovery, melee damage, maximum sprint time. I mean, this all sounds good, but I don't have any points for it. So, ooh, weapon. That would be good. Would be, but uh, based off of Resident Evil, I assume that it's not long for this world. Actually, if I bet if I increase the ammo capacity, I'll get a brand new set of uh, bullets to mess with. So I don't want to do that just yet. I played a lot of Resident Evil 4, as you can tell by my <laughs> knowing how to... <laughs> Get. How this all works out? Yeah. yeah. I've seen your tricks before, friend. Oh, they also healed me, which is nice. It's almost as if I never got hit by an explosive. Alright, let's go back out. So I guess you can just look into any mirror and come back to this place. That is kind of interesting. Yeah. Interesting to note. Yeah, that needed that level of <laughs> energy to it. I'm here for you guys. No. <laughs> Seemed totally unnecessary, but sure. Oh. I am on in survivor mode, so I feel like I should actually... Play it survivor. out? Yeah. Yeah. So he bangs it. Here's my question. Can I assassinate him? Stealth? Yeah, there you sneak go. Kill. Sneak kill. Instant kill. Oh yeah, this guy has no idea what's about to happen to him. He's about to look completely stupid. Bang! And gently put them down. With some respect. He's still ragdolled. Again. <laughs> God, I love this. Uh, physics of that time era. It's completely... Again, at the time, you have no idea how infuriating it was to deal with every single game doing this. But now that we're far away from it, and so many other, like... Uh, controls are just so funny. I think it's actually funny enough, I think it might have been Dark Souls keeping its weird ragdoll physics has made oh, it so that it's more acceptable now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but back then it was definitely really annoying. But I think how it was just the, I, I, I felt it was like the limitation of the engine or, or you know, the, what they could do with it, but now it's just style. If they're yeah. going to do it, it's the, they <laughs> want to do it that way. Instead exactly. of, well, I got no other choice. This is how it looks. Yeah, that's how it felt like back in the day, for sure. Hell yeah, take down oh, yeah. that door. Yeah, I was gonna say that, you know, with your right leg that's still busted from the beginning <laughs> of the game? Yeah, absolutely. I healed it. My The Zuckerberg machine fixed me up. <laughs> that that is true. They reconstructed my knee. I really... <laughs> the, the, the leg work that they've been working on is astounding. <laughs> yeah, for I you not to use it so they just stay stuck here. in their damn metaverse. No Oh, that's gonna be the end reveal, is that we're stuck in the metaverse? <laughs> Zuckerberg! <laughs> what the hell? Ah, oh, that's... Bright light. Oh, he's gonna transform. Super Saiyan? <laughs> I was about to say, like, he's going Super Saiyan! <laughs> Why did he just get barbed wire all over his face? Body. Super Saiyan nail. Oh, I don't even know where your other buddy came from. Okay. <laughs> My character just started automatically walking away. He's like, oh, I bet uh, this is a way to... this, I'm out. I bet this is a... Yeah. a way to set him on fire. 
All right. Well. Uh, you got a match? Nope. Got him. <laughs> For posterity's sake. Just, what? How the oh, hell are you still alive? Oh damn it! I was trying to see if I could punch him to death. I'm still a little high off of dead space. There we go. Back of the head. Donkey punch. Oh, I got him. I got him. He's got to go down eventually, right? I died. <laughs> okay, oh my, that was a one. <laughs> well, okay. I think that's where, you are... I think that's where we end this one here. <laughs> hey, that's probably a good idea. We will deal with these guys in the next one. Let me just quickly pause. Oh, yeah. This is a cutscene plays. Oh, that's fine. We can pause right here. Oh, man. Yeah, you're right. This is a good time to pause it for right here. So we will come back with another night of Halloween for the next video. But thank you very much for Nolar for joining us. Very no problem, fun. Guys. We'll see you in the next one. Yeah. yeah. See you in the next one. And hopefully by then we will we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll get past these guys. <laughs> but based off of them, <laughs> they seem to know how to stop my techniques. Exactly. We'll, we'll All right. See. see you guys. See you.